please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. So what is Tracks for Africa? In this video, we explore the history of this pioneering organization, how it started and how it evolved into the leading Garmin compatible Overland GPS Maps operation it is today, focusing and supporting the ever-growing overlanding and adventure biking communities traveling across the African continent. Tracks for Africa is a small company with a staff of about 15 people, but in essence we are a travel community. So we get all our content from people who really travel out there, they come back from their travels, they share the information with us, they share GPS tracks with us. And our company essentially has got the task to process and to collate all of that data into the products that we, that we produce. In 1999, GPS technology entered the overlanding community. Inasmuch as the GPS could precisely locate your whereabouts, there was no accurate, routable maps available for off-road overlanding support with GPS devices. GPSs were, however, capable of recording breadcrumb trails, as well as waypoints. Thus began the sharing of this track data between members of the self-drive community. One would simply transfer the track and waypoint information onto a GPS and follow these on a blank screen while traveling. There were no base maps available in remote and off-road regions. Those using GPS devices at the time were primarily people with an interest in automation and course plotting, thus finding ways to integrate a GPS with a laptop. And so, the need for reliable and accurate navigational support for the off-road overlanding market in remote parts of the African continent continued to grow. Unlike other mapping companies, we focus on the needs of our overland traveler. Things like where do you sleep, where do you find fuel, uh, where you find uh, things to buy along the road. We do not focus on city navigation as such, but we do include that in our products. So our company is, is basically using the feedback of travelers to enhance the map content that we, that we have. And we've been doing that for about 20 years. If you go into remote areas, there's certain things that, that you take for granted, like is there a bridge? Is, there, uh, is the bridge functional? Is there a gate that you need to open when you ride a motorbike? Um, what is the road condition like? Is it sand? Is it rock? Uh, what could you expect on seasonal variations? Deep mud? Essentially where our focus is, is in that remote areas to get you back to the tar road safely. Wouter Brunt and Johan Grunewald, both at the forefront of Tracks for Africa, met in 2001. This was around the time that Tracks for Africa was born. Their combined engineering expertise, passion for travel in Africa and exchanging travel information with fellow adventurers was the start of a groundbreaking initiative in the world of GPS maps. Johan's fundamental knowledge of GIS together with voters' data processing experience ultimately led to the creation of a digital map of Africa. Tracks for Africa relies largely on the feedback and data from the self-drive community, thereby offering accurate and essential information to the traveller. The maps indicate travel times, farm gates, bridges and road conditions to name a few. Furthermore, Tracks for Africa offer a comprehensive product lineup of travel guidebooks, the Traveller's Atlas, the Guide App and much more.
let's hear how some professionals in the overlanding industry use Tracks for Africa for their businesses. My name is Trigvi Roberts. I'm from Mountain Passes, South Africa. And uh, what we do is we research, document and index South African mountain passes. And we've driven hundreds of thousands of kilometers all over South Africa recording these passes and then editing them down into a, a user-friendly format. We use Tracks for Africa extensively. A lot of the Tracks for Africa data was um, contributed by users, whereas ours was a lot more accurate and a lot more scientific. What we did was uh, we had this huge spreadsheet uh, of over a thousand mountain passes in South Africa. And way back then already, I made contact with uh, Tracks for Africa and I suggested that I give them our spreadsheet so that they could get this accurate data onto Tracks for Africa. And it worked very, very well. And, and even now when I'm, when I'm driving, I see the pass names popping up on my GPS. So it's, it's a really great scheme. And uh, Tracks for Africa have looked after us. They give us free mapware. So it's a nice um, symbiotic relationship that we have with them. And I believe our contribution has improved Tracks for Africa and Tracks for Africa has improved us. So it's, it's really worked very well. I'm Craig Marshall, owner of MSA Travel Africa and the author of the Backcountry Southern Africa route book series. As a tour operator and professional overland route planner for motorcycle rentals, 4x4 rentals, I've planned literally hundreds of self-drive routes for internationals and local travelers using the Tracks for Africa GPS mapping platform. Now the routes are loaded onto a GPS and they follow the tour as it's planned for them. We're not the kind of company that allows bikes and 4x4s to just go out into the unknown without adequate planning. And this is very important for their safety. Now, even when customers have planned their own route on various other mapping platforms, we've had to intervene because they send me their route and I have a look at it. And actually, so many of the days that they've planned are unrideable or undrivable because they simply don't know that there is a game fence there or a private game reserve or private land most of the standard mapping platforms will just take you straight through these areas. Now this is where Tracks for Africa really plays an important part for us as route planners. Standard mapping platforms simply don't have the depth that Tracks for Africa has for overlanding in Africa. Now the depth of detail we're talking about is road surfaces. Standard mapping platforms don't know whether it's gravel, whether it's sand, whether there's a deep river crossing or whether there's rocks. So this is important about Tracks for Africa is it has all this very high detail in the GPS mapping software. And in our backcountry route book series, we partnered with Tracks for Africa and over 90% of the book's information is based on Tracks for Africa mapping. Tracks for Africa is the mapping cornerstone of my entire business. Tracks for Africa continues to innovate and create travel solutions for the overlanding community. What started out as a pastime for the founding members of Tracks for Africa has, over time, grown into a burgeoning operation, facilitating and enhancing the overlanding experience in Africa.